Hi friends, I'm Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway Church and I'd like to read to you from Romans chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. It says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Now that sounds like some very religious things that Paul is saying, Paul is writing about. We have been justified by faith. Uh, we have peace with, with God. Oh, we have obtained access also by faith. And think about what Paul is saying. You have peace with God through your faith in Christ. Having come into a place where you're trusting Christ, where you're saying, look, Christ is my Lord. I, I have a king. That king died on the cross for me. I have a, I have a Lord, and he is, he is risen from the grave, and he is saying that, that my life and his resurrection are bound up. I have peace with God. You know, I've got, God has a lot of issues with me. Uh, when you really think about it, uh, this is true of all of us, but I know that the sins in my register, the, the, the faults that I have shown, the, the things that I have done that, that were not according to his will, they pile up. I have peace with God. And not only that, I have access. That, uh, that whole, whole business of being able to approach God. Yes, I'm coming to God and, and I'm a sinner. Yes, I'm coming to God and I've shown myself to be an unworthy servant. Yes, I'm coming to God and, and I haven't shown God anything like the attention that I should to someone who has poured such love into my life. But with God, I have peace and with God, I have access. Yes, we, we can read, read some religious news and religious thought in the book of Romans, but first off, it is proclaiming to us, for your heart in Christ, you can have peace with God. This can be sorted out right now, and you can have access to him. You can, you can live in his presence and speak to him and hear his voice. That is the great good news. Be blessed.